um, Alistair Walker uh, from the Foreign Office. Uh, can I just ask Marie about the, uh, you mentioned one of your interests was the image of Japan in the region um, mm -hmm. historically, but I wondered how you saw the image of Japan now in the region um, and also looking into the future. I mean, uh, it was interesting, I mean, often Nissan and Sony and Toyota possibly linked to the Japanese companies but also I think nowadays are linked as global companies uh, mm -hmm. and maybe mm -hmm. I wonder if people are losing forgetting what, where they come from but mm -hmm. do you do you still see a huge interest in Japan in this area and uh, mm. I think I think it's a very interesting question because certainly at the time I was writing my, my book on Japan in the Northeast there was a, a complete fascination with Japan Japanese culture Japanese management culture um, and you know the papers were full of, of, of stories of reports of any news item that featured a Japanese company was, was seen to be of great uh, importance um, however many 20, 25 years on um, perhaps China o occupies uh, a bit more attention but of course the ongoing uh, role played by Japanese firms is well acknowledged in the business community and certainly if you ask One Northeast for the statistics I, I was quite interested to see that about 15% of all foreign investment in the region is Japanese so it, it continues, Japan continues to be a very important player here back in the 1880s, sorry 1980s, 1980s when I was doing my, my, my research um, the cultural and the business sides came together in quite, quite a, a dynamic way so that even the Japanese companies in promoting what they were doing within the local community were very happy to get involved with festivals and other events and to um, identify with their Japanese-ness and try and promote that in the region. So they did become quite well known. They did uh, donate quite a lot to, to the regions. Uh, they worked with schools. They were much involved in those spheres. I think they still are, but they're much quieter about it now. Now, I should say, in terms of you know, promoting Japanese image, I would always uh, set Nissan apart in that, in that sense. Nissan uh, always emphasized the fact that, that it was the culture of Nissan, as you've, you've described, whereas other companies, perhaps like Komatsu, have been very, very keen to promote themselves as, as representative of all things Japanese. But I think the image, the short answer to your question, is that the image is a positive one, but I think there's not as much live awareness in the wider community about the real importance of Japanese investment and its impact. I think there was probably more awareness back when it was happening. I think, that. I think that is absolutely right. I think it, it is generally true. It's, it, it, it's not just about Japan, but if you take France or Germany, it, 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 no, the extent of our exports into the European Union, they are very, very great. And, and Trevor, you did, did show us the figures that, in fact, it was £2 billion uh, in terms of trade that, that was a positive, uh, yeah. um, you know, a positive role for uh, the North East in terms of, uh, of our exports. It's a fact that isn't terribly widely known, because one of the reasons for that is that we've had so much foreign investment uh, uh, welcome in, uh, in the North East of England, uh, uh, led in many ways by Japan, but uh, in, you know, increasingly in, uh, in, you know, from other places as well. And that, uh, in terms of world trade, in, ten, in terms of free trade and open markets, all of that has proved extremely important to us. I don't think anybody back in 1984-5 would have thought that um, Sunderland would be ex ex exporting cars all over the world. And no. the, the extent of what has been achieved I think it's, it's, it's a tribute in part to Nissan, well, largest in Nissan, but also to the people of Sunderland, the people of the region, and uh, you know that willingness actually to, to learn from the example that uh, was set back in 1984-5. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Another question? Yes, thank you, Andrew Robinson, uh, French Honorary Consul in the North East. Uh, it's a question for Marie, but perhaps, John, you, with your interest in history, you might be able to answer as well. Um, given the high respect which the Japanese establishment had, therefore, the naval establishment, in this region, in the United Kingdom, in the 19th century, and which was translated also into the alliance in the First World War, were there voices in Japan in the 1920s and 30s which recalled that legacy and, and could have countered the 
the opposite views which obviously were gaining force in the Japanese establishment. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, there certainly were and there were also uh, in, in this country friends of Japan who um, you know, engaged in that kind of dialogue but of course the ending of the, the formal ending of the Anglo-Japanese alliance in the early 1920s was you know, marked a very significant turning point in the close relationship that had existed but yes indeed there were um, you know th there was a tremendous debate that went on within certain circles and the navy I mean we haven't got time to go into the uh, a detailed discussion on this but I think it's certainly true to say that the the Japanese navy and the naval officials in Japan at that time were uh, quite averse to what was was going on led by the army a very simplistic response but yeah mm -hmm. Okay, there'll be a chance later to, to, to ask anything further, I think. We're okay now for a cup of tea uh, uh, and, and refreshments for break. Um, if you'd like to go outside, they're going to be in the hall here. So we're going to hear from the Consul General at uh, 4.30 promptly. Uh, there'll be about a half hour talk then. Then we go back to questions of the Consul General and then to the whole of the panel for approximately a quarter to six but there'll be a, 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 a drink for everybody. So, if you could be back here about 25 past four, that would be extremely helpful. Thank you.